Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're going to be doing a little project to help prepare for the winter storm we're going to get this weekend. Before we head out to the barn, I want to let Dizzy out. I've had a long day at work, so Dizzy hasn't had any time out today, and she is just all cooped up, huh, girl? Yes, you are. Go ahead and run. You babies stay in there. Dizzy, huh, you wanted to play with Echo Pup. You go ahead and stretch your legs, but stay in the property this time, Dizzy. But three days ago and yesterday, I found Dizzy crossing the road and going over to the neighbor's house and pecking through their driveways. Piper, you just jumped over the fence. You couldn't wait either? Ease, girl. You waited all day until I got up here, then you just hop right over. I'm coming, Mumbles. You guys can go to the pond. Come on, ducks, everybody get together. You can see I added wood chips to this pen here and a little bit on that pen over there and dressed up the front again just to keep all the animals out of the mud. Come on, birds, everybody get together. Come on, ducks. There you go, ladies. Ugh. Come on, watch out, Piper. Come on. Come here, Echo. Yeah, come here. Come here. Good, birds. Oh, puppy. That's Bert's job. You don't need to break up that. So this weekend, we're actually supposed to get some snow and some sustained cold. I want to make sure the water tank is all filled up. So when I went to deliver eggs, I just left this go on a trickle so it can start filling up and I don't have to worry about it overflowing. I still don't have this float valve working like it should. So we're just going to keep an eye on this and let this fill up. But I want to make sure the water's full on the inside of the barn here because this tank isn't going to freeze. And I also want to make these two bowls here, one in this pen and the one in this pen, a little bit more freeze resistant than just sitting out in the open like they are now. The pool over here will probably freeze overnight but they shouldn't freeze whenever the ducks are out here playing in them during the day but i want to do something so these smaller bowls with less volume of water don't freeze during the day so just in case it gets really cold it'll give these bowls a little bit extra time before they freeze huh piper you need access to fresh water don't you huh pop hey sammy i can hear the baby peepers all the way down at the shed yelling for dizzy to come back that little high-pitched chirp really travels across the property hi piper how you doing what are you doing up on the gate you could be out free ranging. You don't have to hang out with me, Pipes. I am looking locally to get some friends for Piper, so you guys will be the first to know whenever I end up finding some. But my plan with these bowls to help keep them from freezing is to insulate them with these tires. These little rings, we're gonna be filling these tires with hay and then setting the bowl inside, and that's gonna add a nice insulation gap to help keep the water from freezing so readily. It's gonna help keep the wind chill off the sides of the bowl. And with the tire being black and having a cavity inside that's gonna be stuffed with hay, it's gonna be able to absorb and hold some of the heat that it gets from the sun coming in mumbos we're gonna make your bowls better yeah we're gonna make your bowls better since you keep coming in here to the little bowls instead of going to your bigger poles hi ducks it's the same water in the pool as it is in the bowl i'm gonna grab a section of hay here we can stuff into the tire hi ladies you gonna help A dot regina I have two different styles of tire here. One's a little bit taller and thicker and the other one's a little bit more shallow i'm gonna try this one first Ugh. All right, so what we're gonna do is loosen up the hay so it's not so tightly clumped. We want some air gaps in this, and we're gonna stuff the rim full with the hay. All right, we got this tire all set up. We have the tire rim filled up with the hay, and then we have the bowl of water sitting inside. So that should insulate that bowl really well, but it did increase the height of the bowl pretty good. So I don't think the ducks are gonna be able to get up in it, which might be a good thing. They only can drink out of it instead of actually get their feet in it and make it all dirty. Ah, oh, puppy, you wanting some pettings, huh? Yeah. But the chickens and all the birds have no problem getting a drink out of it. Ah, oh, puppy, you trying to play? This ain't playtime. What are you doing, chicken? Rufio trying to get you. Oh girl, everybody trying to get you. This next tire I have is a little bit more shallow, so the ducks might be able to get up into it. But we're gonna treat this tire the same way, stuff it with the hay and then shove the bowl inside. Oh, he's going after one of the bonnies. Ducks, you going back to the pond? All right, we'll see you later, mumbles.
I can already feel the stiffness in the bowl. It's already starting to freeze. Like a glove. And we're all set up. Up, up. Yeah, I see you watching. I see you. You wanna play ball, Piper? All right, we got both bulls in the freeze resistance setup. I did use this method last year. I didn't even pack it full of hay and it still worked really well, but I think it's gonna do its best job if you keep it dry. So we're gonna try and keep that as dry as possible and not dump the water into the tire. Huh, Piper? It's almost time to go perch, huh? Chicken's are already going up. Bert's already in place. The ducks are still down at the pond. They like to stay out a little bit later than the chickens. We didn't do too much today, but I didn't really have a lot of time. I was away most of the day doing some work. Some of you have asked what I do for work other than homesteading here because the homesteading doesn't pay the bills and YouTube doesn't either. So other than that, I am a painting contractor. I paint people's houses and buildings and businesses. So I was off the property all day helping a friend paint their house. And then I went and delivered my duck eggs and I stopped at Lowe's to try and find a drill bit to drill out those hinges that I need to hang those front gates that we built. And I wasn't able to find a drill bit the size so I might have to over drill it and just have a little bit of slack in the hinge because that's all I have so I'm not ready to hang those gates yet I still have to modify those hinges I knew Piper was ready to go up and start perching huh girl you're gonna walk onto my shoulder if I let you huh you're coming right at me but that's gonna be all for this one I need to go down and make sure Dizzy gets back into the mini coop if you want to keep following along make sure to subscribe down below hit that like button before you leave and you can see me and Echo on the next one thanks for watching what are you doing over there Dizzy you come here you're not supposed to be crossing the road why are you crossing the road, chicken? Girl. She's scaring me every time she goes missing like that. You're gonna get locked up, Disney. I'm not gonna let you out anymore. Yeah, I hear you, peepers. I hear you too. I usually put Dizzy between my legs like this so I can hold the gate and open up. And she's just resting on my lap and I toss her in. Good night, Dizzy. I gotta fix your feeder. Hold on, let me in there. Let me fix that feeder, girl. Good night, Dizzy. All right, it is the morning after we loaded up these freeze-resistant bowls, and they are frozen solid. Like I said, these aren't going to keep them from freezing overnight, but with the sun on them, that should help hold a lot of the heat inside the tire and keep the bowl from freezing over during the day so they have all fresh water during the day while I'm gone away at work. Oh, right, ladies, what about the other one? It need open up too? We already got the ducks fresh pools of water. I already broke up all the ice out of the pools and got them fresh water in there, but they like these bowls too. So I'll open these up. And hopefully that won't refreeze by the time I get home from work today. Oh, pop. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of sun today, so hopefully this should work.